Wagwan, Wagwan, what's great? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome and thank you very much for stopping by. My name is Chef Adrian Morris and you're watching Morris Time Cooking. As seen in the title, today I'll be showing you how to make crispy basa nuggets. So if that's something that sounds interesting, stick around. After the intro, we get right into it. We know about sardines, mackerel, yeah. chicken neck, yeah. chicken back, yeah. nothing a waste, nothing a dash way. And we are back, as I said before, making some crispy basa nugget. This is a video that I made a few days ago and I got a lot of requests for this one. I have a video on my TikTok that went viral over the Easter holidays and a lot of persons were asking me, how do you prepare the fish? So here I am to show you how to get that basa. Cause you know basa is normally soft and watery. I'm gonna show you how you're gonna prepare that, get it nice and crunchy on the outside and juicy on the inside. So let's go. So the basa that I'm using is from Walmart and it's the frozen basa, right? All I did was just get this thawed out nicely, wash it with some lime and vinegar, rinse it with water twice to get away all that excess taste from the vinegar so that the fish is just nice and fresh. And I pat dry that and let's go into the seasoning process. So here I have my basa, what I wanna do, I wanna remove that string so that it's not chewy and cut these into nice nuggets or bite-sized pieces to your liking. So to season our fish, I'm gonna go in with half of a fresh lime, squeeze over that. I'm gonna drizzle about a tablespoon of olive oil so that everything can coat nicely. Now we're gonna season that with one tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of black pepper. I'm gonna go in with one tablespoon of paprika and one tablespoon of pink salt. Rub that in generously so that all the pieces are fully coated and have all that nice flavoring going on. Now for the breading, we have here two cups of all-purpose flour. We're gonna use one cup of fine grain cornmeal, one and a half cup of cornstarch. What the cornstarch does is to get this fish nice and crispy, extra crispy at that. So to season our breading now, all the season that I mentioned earlier to season the fish, I'm gonna go in with a teaspoon of each to season the breading. So that onion powder, the garlic powder, the paprika, as well as the salt and pepper. So now we're gonna bread our fish. What you wanna do, you wanna scoop and fold this about seven to eight times and press that down to compact all of that flour on there. Release them and shake them off in between the palm. Drop them in out in some water and that water is from the seasoned fish so all the season is in that bowl. Just ensure that everything is fully covered and then we're just gonna shake that to drain off the excess water then back into our breading. We're gonna repeat step one scoop and fold around seven to eight times and then press that down so that we get all of them fully coated in that nice breading. Release those, shake them off vigorously in back and forth in the finger and we're gonna give them a second dip. Drain the excess liquid off, back into the breading and for the final breading, we're gonna repeat step two. And look how nice those are. Drop those into our grease, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna fry these for about three to five minutes until they're nice and crunchy. And then we're gonna remove them from the oil, allow them to drain and reheat the oil back to 350 and we're gonna give them a second fry. Gonna drop those down again for the second fry. If you're gonna eat these by themselves, you can use some nice tartar sauce or you can 
have them with a spicy mayo. For the Easter season, I went ahead and I dressed mine in some nice Escovy sauce. This can, you can have this with your rice dishes, whatever starch of your choice. You name it, you have it. But that's how you create that nice crispy butter and a soft inside. Make your butter look nice and juicy. And there you have it. How to upgrade your frozen butter into a nice delicious meal at home. Nice and crunchy as I said on the outside juicy on the inside so if you did enjoy the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up you know what i say and remember i have out over 300 videos and counting so check those out at your convenience i have dedicated playlists made up for easter winter summer autumn spring all year round so check out those videos at your convenience if you love the vibe hit subscribe and until next time see if travel on the gravel and go and big up on yourself